To do hydrogen rockets, you need polyethylene terephthalate bottles. What we need to do is charge our hydrogen rockets, and in order to do that, we're going to fill them over water. To commence this, one puts the bottle in, unscrews the top, and lets the top fall to the bottom, and the water stays in because no air can rush in. You put the tube for the hydrogen source into the neck of the bottle, filling the bottle to about a quarter of its volume and no more. It's imperative you don't overfill it because you need to have the appropriate hydrogen-oxygen ratio. The hydrogen stays at the top because it's less dense than water. To set up the equipment, you need to undo the lid of the bottle and let the water drain out. The hydrogen, because it's less dense than air, will stay at the top of the bottle. As the water comes out, air rushes in to make our explosive mixture. And even when the tube is loaded, as long as it's at an incline, the hydrogen will stay towards the top of the bottle. We're going to launch this from the back of the class for safety reasons. Three, two, one, go. This demonstrates lots of chemistry, but we can also demonstrate physics when using things like rockets, which demonstrate Newton's second law, that action and reaction are equal and opposite.